Welcome, Internet. Today on Bread to Loaf, we are getting number two clean. In a previous video, you saw me install this bathroom exhaust fan timer into my wall plate. Go check that out if you haven't already. Awesome video. I blow some stuff up. It's great. Today, we're going to be focusing our efforts over in the toilet section. We are going to be installing a new bidet. Not even a used bidet. A new bidet. And this is the Lux Bidet Neo 320. Approved by Keanu Reeves. <laughs> Actually, I don't know that, so uh, don't quote me. This bidet has a bunch of great reviews on it. One guy's like, fantastic. Five star customer service. Even a bottom's best friend. And my favorite, best thing since sliced bread. <laughs> well, that's a big plan. We're going to see about that. Now, this video is not sponsored by Lux Bidet, but hey, Lux, if you want to send me a little sponsorship, that'd be dope. All right, in the box, here we go. This is what you get. A nice packet full of hoses, some cheap plastic wrenches, adapters, and a little bit of Teflon tape. Awesome. Then we have the manual and quick setup guide, all that. And we have the actual bidet itself. Here it is, mounts on the toilet, kind of like that, with the control arm sticking out to your right. It's got these mounting plates that go where your toilet seat mounts. And then it has a little control arm over here. Here's a close-up of the control panel. You see you've got your hot and cold options with that lever on the top that controls the water pressure. And then below you have a wash, a nozzle cleaning, and a woman nozzle. I'll be using that one tonight. I could use some company. I wonder how many come out. This install should be pretty straightforward. You just got to mount the bidet and then connect the water lines up to it. It gets its cold water from your fill line on your water tank on your toilet down over here. And then it actually gets the hot water from the sink. You go underneath the cabinet and you connect the T fitting to that hot water line, shoot it over to the bidet. Now this kit claims that it has everything you need to get it set up, so we'll verify that claim pretty soon. Some of the hand tools you might need, definitely want some crescent wrenches and some box end wrenches, and maybe some needle nose pliers and a few other common items. Of course you're going to want gloves, you can see I already have them on, and this just kind of keeps the uh, gross little microbes from getting on your skin. Of course, as always, safety glasses, put those on right now. And then I might be using a light because I love using lights on my head. First step is to turn off the water supply to the tank and flush the tank so it's completely empty. So let's go ahead and do that. That should be off. All right, next step is to remove the bolts that are holding on the toilet seat. Mine are just these screw-on types. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull both those out. Okay, both are out, and we should go just lift this off. Like so. I want to give that a bit of a clean. Next step is to take the bidet with our newly cleaned mounting positions and just kind of set it on there and line the holes up. Okay, I got the bolts put through. The slotted portions on the bidet. Bidet, 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 bidet. And now we're going to be using the original hardware, kind of bolting it back down. C has been reattached. Now we're going to be disconnecting the water hose going up to the toilet tank. This may be a little drippy, so we're going to be using a towel to catch any water that comes out. In my case, this is a hand fitting, and it's going to be opposite when it's going up into the tank. So, from your perspective, righty loosey, lefty tighty. Feel a little bit of water dripping out. There we go. Now we're going to install this T adapter. And in my instructional booklet, it says make sure that this rubber gasket is inserted onto the top. So if you have that option, make sure you do it. Okay, that's hand tight. Next, we take our water supply line, put it into the bottom of this adapter. For some of the connections where I think there may be leaks, I'm going to be using some of the special tape called Teflon tape for threads to ensure a watertight connection. Okay, 
And now we take our cold water hose and connect it to the T-fitting and then up to the bidet. Now keep in mind on some bidet models, if you have the hot and cold options on this lever, there will be a hot and cold port on either side and make sure you connect the right hose to the right port. Dope. That's the first half. Cold water is hooked up completely and we're going to give it a quick test. Well, that's not tight. Okay, as you can hear, the water is back on and we definitely have a leak. I'm going to use a bit of Teflon tape on this connection back here. For the cold water. Okay, take three. Here we go, the moment of truth. Oh boy. That works quite well. My wall is now soaked. So the cold water side, done. Now we are going to move on to the hot water side, which first step is turning off the connection to the hot water line going up to the sink. So we're going down below. So we are underneath my bathroom sink now. Here is the cold connection and here is the hot connection. This is what we're going to be tapping into. Now, of course, very important. First thing you want to do, turn off the supply. There we go. The handle is now perpendicular to the water connection coming out and that means it is turned off in most cases. Now, we're going to disconnect this line. Okay, in my case, this connection is a 5 eighths. Make it a little bit drippy. That's okay. Okay, in my case, the instructions specifically say to insert a black rubber washer into the bottom of this T-fitting for the hot water. Take that guy, put it on the bottom, like so. So this fitting goes into here. And then we can reconnect our hot water line onto the end. Okay, and basically last step is to connect the hot water plastic hose up to the bidet. But if you'll notice, the wall right next to the faucet is completely solid. There's no connection to get to the toilet. So we're going to be doing a little bit of drilling. Okay, you just saw me drill the hole. So first I start off with a 964 bit, like so, drill the pilot hole, and then I finish it off with a 5 16 inch drill bit. There's the hole back there. As you can see, it fits the pipe just very snugly. And that should do it. I'm gonna go clean it up and we'll start threading it through. Okay, so the end without a fitting goes in for the outside of the cabinet. Like so. So looking at how much length I have inside the cabinet after I pulled all the slack out, I've decided that I'm going to be cutting a bunch of this off to reduce the travel amount of the hot water going to the bidet. This stuff is really cheap from like Menards or Lowe's or wherever you get your piping from and tubing. So I don't feel bad about cutting this up. If I install this in other apartments later on, I'll just go ahead and buy new tubing. So I'm going to give myself a little bit of slack and then we're going to cut it off. There we go. Extra tubing out of the way. Okay, and the last step, second to last step, is to connect this barb and this hose together. Snaps onto there, and then make sure you have your compression nut. Goes on there like that with threads facing in. Slip that guy over the barb and make sure it's seated completely against the threaded portion up to the base. And it is. And then take your nut, slide it up over top, and screw it down. In my case, this is a 16 millimeter. And I think this is the moment of truth. Let's see if there's any leaks. Get you out of harm's way. Well, that's encouraging. I don't hear any dripping water or screams from the apartment down below. So I think we're good. I just did a full function test. We are good to go. We got both hot and cold water flowing to our nozzles. Give us the best of both worlds. Warm, hot water for relaxation, and cold icy water to blast that crap away. Literally. So a cool feature about this bidet is it has a little splash guard for the nozzles. It's got dual nozzles. And then over here you can do a cleaning option. So when you turn it on, it shoots water 
over the nozzles, cleans them so you don't even have to touch them. And I can feel that water nice and hot. Water is flowing through the lines over here. Feels good. I don't see any leaks, so I think job well done. Now hold up. If you thought for one second that I wasn't going to show you a full rear view of me actually using this bidet, well, you'd be right. You'll just have to take my word for it. It functions well. All the water is going to it. No leaks. I'm going to have a ton of fun using it, saving toilet paper, most importantly, and being real clean. My butthole is going to love it. That's a sound bite. I know this is a bit out of the normal of automotive videos, but I thought it'd be a great way to do a little bit of DIY plumbing. Show you that it's really easy, that you can do it yourself. I did this in about an hour and 15 minutes. Super easy. I think anyone can do it with just a little bit of knowledge and a little bit of patience. That's it. If you want to see some more crazy installs and other household items, plus automotive stuff, which mostly do automotive, but we do a little funky stuff like this every once in a while, hit subscribe, hit that notification bell. It helps us out. Helps us bring more content to you. This is Bread to Loaf, signing off.